something I am learning right now um, is cycle syncing. Have you heard of that? Like your menstrual cycle? Yes, yes. Because but syncing it with with what? You sync your lifestyle and eating habits to it. Um, so my period has always also played like a huge factor in my depression and like mood swings and stuff because I also didn't get my period till I was like 16 or 17. So I didn't know like these mood swings that I were having Mm -hmm. were like aligned with my period until like years later and discovering that I'm like, Oh, okay. My hormones are like out of whack. So I've been really trying to find ways to balance my hormones. Cause you know, I I can take every medication and stuff, but I still want to like try to help myself from the inside out. So something I've been learning recently is cycle syncing is like eating certain foods that have different nutrients and vitamins during each phase of your cycle that help support or like lessen certain hormones levels. It's a lot to take in. I'm reading a book called In the Flow, which has like broken it down really easily. But yeah, just like kind of every week you just have like a different grocery list of different foods. Mm. And every week of your period, you do like different levels of activity because Obviously, when you're like on your period, you're low energy. You're not going to be like going to the gym. But like two weeks later, you're like at your highest energy. So that's when you like want to go to the gym, go on runs and all that. Because women just have like a different biological clock. We run on the monthly cycle rather than the daily cycle like men do. So that's just something I've been learning about recently. And I've been really enjoying it, honestly. Yeah, no, that's super cool. I I have heard of something like that. Um, So have you started implementing anything? Yeah, I've been doing it, I think, for about like two months now. Um, And the most thing I focus on is the food because I like eat everything at home. I cook everything at home. So one, I've been liking it because it like literally gives me a grocery list. I'm like, cool. I don't have to think about my grocery list. It can help me like think of new recipes and stuff. Um, But I just feel like so much like lighter in my body. Like I just don't feel bloated or like inflamed. And I have already eaten very healthy. I've been vegan again for years and years, but I think just the way that you're aligning it with your hormones, nothing's like fighting against each other in your body. Right. Um, and it does prioritize like a lot of like, obviously whole foods, fruits and vegetables. So that's always gonna make you feel better. Mm-hmm. But even as someone that ate that way before, I have felt a difference just in the pattern of when I'm eating things. Like what is it about the f- types of food? Like give me an example. Like what do you eat when you're like low energy or high energy or? Yeah. So it's the certain like, nutrients and vitamins in them either like support estrogen production or support like testosterone so obviously your hormones fluctuate throughout the month and then the different things that you eat will like prevent you from like getting too much estrogen where it's gonna make you feel crappy and bloated and stuff like that I have like a little note let me let me pull it up so I can give a specific example no though that's really cool because I I've learned about like syncing your cycle with I mean, it's kind of, I've learned about like the moon cycle and like our period cycle is not so different where you have times where you're like supposed to have energy to go after things and then times where you're supposed to rest and rejuvenate. Um, But I think just in general, like it's a lesson for women that you don't have to be like 100% all the time. Like we have our good days and our bad days, our high energy days and our low energy days. Exactly. And that's been something I've been really trying to like learn and implement because we live in a society like made for men and then we're made to feel terrible when we cannot fit into it when biologically and physically like a lot of the times we can't um and it just I also feel like it's just kind of like a power move to like live on your own embody your womanhood and just like yes do do what does best for you rather than like trying to fit the mold of the world but an example of like eating so like on like your actual menstrual cycle like your period like eating like warm and comforting foods because obviously you're cramping, you're bloated and you want everything to be warm and, you know, comfort you from the inside out. And then once you get like two weeks ahead, which is like the opposite end of your cycle where you have more energy and more life, you're like eating raw fruits and vegetables, smoothies, uh, light, fresh type of foods. So lining it up with that 